Yeah, 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 uh, smoking on Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Samuel Sports Studios. Uh, today we're gonna be grilling some ab routines. And uh, yeah, like, so this is just gonna be a little short video. Just, uh, going through some ab workouts that you could use, you know, for your training. It's like a very complex um, routine that I have. Like not not very complex routine, but then it's complex in the sense that uh, it's uh, sort of like the, we begin off with a weight ab exercise, and then we just move on to like just different movements, basically, you know. So you you uh, you get to find out more uh, more once we get into it. So guys, the first one that we're going to be starting off with is the weighted ab exercise. So basically, take one weight right like this. Anyway, so this one is like five pounds, not too heavy. So you start off with boom. We're gonna do like the video of these. Boom. So after that, yeah, yeah. So basically, uh, yeah, that one basically a normal movement, sort of uh, gives a. Uh, we start start off with that just to give a bit of resistance to the other exercises. So the second one is this one right here. Perfect. Yeah. Boom. Right, let's go. So that's 30 of that as well. That's the bicycle. And then we move on to flutter kicks. So. So, yeah, when doing those uh, flutter kicks. So basically, boom. It's like every time your second foot touches the air, that's one rep, basically. Okay, and then from the body kicks, we move on to, right? Boom. Two touches. Three. Four. Five. Yeah. So basically for the exercise, obviously, obviously it's called toe touches, but I wasn't really touching my toes. The toes just, I wasn't really touching my toes, but just reaching for them, right? So you have to get your back, your upper back off the ground when you're reaching for them. And then that just comes as one rep. As soon as you reach, then boom, you go back down, bring your upper body back, and reach your toes again. This one is like a really easy one, right? Not so hard. So boom, go here. No explosive movements, just looking. The abs at a very low intensity. Just do thirty of those. Boom. So that's a very easy one. The last one is basically a plank. So this one's a really interesting one. It's uh, basically where we pull the plank position and we touch um, we touch the ground using our hips. So basically we just swing from side to side. So I'll just show you some better angles. From here, boom, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, seven, four. Yeah, so basically, as you saw in that one, we're just like touching, uh, we just hold the plank position, touch, uh, we use our hips to just touch around right hip, left hip, right hip, left hip, 
we just go swing, just like that, it's a routine. I did about 60 of those because uh, those ones you actually have to do a bit of a high rep just to like feel them out and I like to end with that as well. So this is just the first set of the routine exercises that I do. So, so, so the ending is like, you know, you want to end off big, you know, so you don't want to end off small. So we do a bit of a high, high reps, high reps for the last one. So yeah, and let's get to the second set of the ab routine. All right, yeah, so we are in the second part of our ab routine, right? So as you can see here, we're gonna be doing some crunches now, all right? So basic crunches, boom, pick up, like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Crunches very effective. I, I mean, I used to use them, and uh, I used to have like a lot, a lot of belly fat. I remember when starting off, like uh, as you know, bodybuilding and stuff. Uh, you, you, go, you, you're gonna like you know, once you start eating a lot, you know, while bodybuilding you're gonna start gaining a bit of belly fat, you know? So crunches really help with that, um, the gain of belly fat, just burning it off. I don't know how, why, like I don't know the scientific reason as to why they work so well, but they work, you know, more than just sit-ups. They work way better than sit-ups. These sit-ups, they, sit-ups, they, they, they mainly, they target the, um, they target the muscle itself, but then crunches, I feel like just burns off fat, just, way more easier, it just makes you feel much leaner, less bloated, you know? So yeah, if you're looking for that ab exercise that's gonna burn fat, I would say, I would, rec I would recommend crunches, you know? I don't know the scientific explanations as to how it works or anything like that, but then from my experience, crunches, work. crunches works the best when it comes to burning belly fat. So from there, we're just gonna go on to these ones right over here. So like I said, random moments, it's like, this is where like it sort of gets a bit complex. So I invented these ones. So these are sort of like toe touches as well, but then this is side to side, single toe touches basically. So boom, boom, boom. So those are single toe touches. They're very good for hip movement as well. As you can see, I was moving my hips a lot. So um, you're gonna see that a lot in the other ones as well. So just uh, before we move on to the other ones. So these ones are just, these, these ones are really good. So basically, this is like your neck and your legs coordinate with each other. So boom, as soon as you bring your leg up, bring your head up as well. Boom. 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 So those are basically as you could see like those are sort of like different so basically it's uh, your head coordinates with your legs so as soon as your legs go up you bring your neck up like that. As soon as your legs go down, boom, you bring your neck down. So it's a coordination exercise, really good for your neck muscles as well. Yeah, good for your, good for your lower abs, and yeah, it's a just a, yeah, it's just a good coordination exercise basically. And uh, yeah, it works mostly. I, I feel like it works mostly in the lower abs. And uh, yeah, so from there onwards, we go on to these bridged leg leg raises basically. So you don't need to touch it to a toes for that one. So let me see. I haven't worked out for about two weeks now, so this is my first training session after two weeks of rest. So um, yeah, so uh, those are the, those are the bridge leg raises, single leg, leg raises, bridge, single leg raises is what I like to call it. So from there, we move on to the last one, 
which is this. So this one is going to be working on your hips, everything, your abs, just coordination. So, boom, boom, two, go to it. So that one was a really uh, that that was one that, that that was another one which I invented. So uh, it's another one where it's like uh, you sort of like you know like in jujitsu when you're on the ground, you sort of like moving your hips. I sort of got it from that one. So basically, it's like you're touching uh, your toes. So this you move, you're touching, and you're moving your hips. Get it? So as soon as, as soon as you, so let's say you're, let's say you're gonna touch your left, your left uh, leg, right, your left leg, your left leg, boom, boom. You see? You see that? So look at where my position. Boom, boom. So it's sort of like you're moving your hips from side to side, trying to scoot out of a position. And uh, this is like, this is a one, one that I invented by, you know, through Jiu Jitsu, like, you know, because I, I realized that there's a lot of hip movements. So just to, like work on that and my abs at the same time, I just invented that one. So just, I don't know, play that back on repeat, obviously, because uh, it's, it's, it's one that you have to like really get used to. So basically it's uh, when you're like, say you're gonna touch your left leg like you have to scoot your you have to go, go on your right right side you have to go on your right hand if you, you so so when you're going to touch your left leg going to touch your left leg boom on the right right hip when you're going to touch your right leg boom on the left hip so and then so you just like keep mo moving your hips like that so let me just show, show you that one more time so you get it right so like i said just a bit, a bit complex but you can learn it easily and uh, for everyone in Jiu Jitsu, this could uh, be helpful as well. So, boom, bang, yeah. see, bang, on the left hip, when I'm going to touch the right, on the right hip, when I'm going to touch the uh, left, boom, 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 boom. And sort of just like explosive ab exercise is what it is. So yeah guys, so that was basically my ab routine and uh, obviously so, like some of those movements like in the ones that I did in the end are sort of uh, hard to like you know get at first but then once you get used to it you really get you know you, you really get into it because it works on like your hip movement like you know like when you're on the ground boom you're moving your hips you're moving your hips you're being more mobile like more more more, more uh, more mobility basically for your hips and you know just for like when you're moving on the ground and you know it's it's really good for your if, if you are someone that does like jujitsu or someone like that practices that it's uh, it's good it's good just good practice for movement on the ground basically just to like help you scoot your so hips you know from t side to side and uh yeah like it just works just normal movements right like you know obviously i just invented these as I went along like you know learned picked it up from obviously those movements that I did in the end I picked those up from Jiu Jitsu so I just felt like oh what if I could just invent like an ab exercise that could just help me with those movements like you know so I'm working on my abs and I'm working working on my hip movements at the same time working on coordination at the same time as well so it you know it it's really beneficial in the in that sense in that sense in all those factors so so yeah um <laughs> i'm just ra ra ranting basically ranting <laughs> i'm sorry what i'm sorry what uh but uh other than that yeah i got a new bus car and yeah i mean like these ab exercises they work i mean obviously i'm not i'm not like a aesthetic expert or anything like that but then these ab exercises they they do give you a Tight core, but then I, I would say focus on planks more first, you know, before moving on to these. Because 
you know, you, the tightness that you get, like for these exercises, you know, it's gonna, planks are like the base of it. So make sure you get your planks right and before you like move on to these, like, you know. So other than that, other than that guys, thank you for watching and uh, yeah, see you on the next one. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah.